So I did have a bunch of people ask me how I do my badge reels that are snappable. They are jewelry snaps um, that I got off the internet. There's a couple different places that you can get them from Etsy being one. They are a couple parts to them. So you have the snap base. It's a two part deal. So it's a base that goes in through the fabric and it attaches. I use a hand press. I use fabric in between because there is a gap otherwise. Um, and then there's a couple of different uh, cabochon trays. Um, the place that I order from, when I order, I get one of two. It doesn't really matter. They both work. Um, this one here that's got the thinner lip actually will fit over a magnet if somebody wants to convert the magnetic ones that you get off of Amazon. This one does not fit, but it's also a thicker tray here around the edge, but they both work. So with mine, I actually fill them with resin. Normally it's just clear resin. This is just one that I have that I was working on for a bracelet. Uh, fill it with resin and then I just glue it on to the back of the acrylic with just Loctite, super glue, whatever's your preference. But I will show y'all what I do on Cricut in just a second um, to kind of give you an idea of how I create the fabric part to where it's a smoother, cleaner look. So give me just a sec and reposition and I'll be right back. So I do offer both regular badge reels and heavy duty reels. So they're two different sizes. So I basically measured my badge reels and figure 1.2 is kind of close enough to where it gets me to be almost totally covering the badge, but not really going over. And then my heavy duty is 1.5. So I did my circles and then I ended up adding a basic cut in the center. So all I ended up doing was adding a line. I started off with the score line created it to the size that I needed and just converted it to a basic cut and then I duplicated that and then I of course rotated it the 90 degrees and then I just centered the two and aligned it to where they were centered and then all I did was put it where I needed it and then aligned it there to where everything was nice and centered to where I had my Cricut actually cut my little center hole also and it just made sure that everything was nice and centered whereas I wasn't doing it so great when I was doing it on my own so I will show y'all now with um the cement bond so it's a contact cement you can get it from any hardware store um this just so happens to be what my uh hardware store carried so give me just a sec and I will show y'all how to set with a hand press. I don't really do the manual tools anymore, but I will show y'all in just a sec. Let me reposition again. So there are a bunch of different setters that you can use with a hammer. You also need a block where you have a solid surface um, to tap it down on. So you can put that in there. You can put the fabric and then put this right on top. And then you would actually have to try to keep it very centered and try and hit it to where it goes down smooth. I unfortunately didn't have very much luck with it. So I ended up investing in a uh, actual hand press. So give me just a sec. Let me back up. So this is a hand press that I got off of Etsy. It works great. Um, it came with a whole bunch of different die sets for it for grommets and stuff but of course I need a specific one so I actually ordered mine off of the internet which was also Etsy and it comes with the base piece to hold it and the one that actually fits the snap base top actually into it so this is what I use. Give me just a sec to let me get it back together. And then I will start again. So that's my fabric circle. So you just take your little base piece here and then just kind of fit that into where I have my little X made. 
push it down. I'm going to set that piece into here at the base to where it's nice and stable. I take this part and I put this piece in here to where it snaps in and it's going to stay. And then that way everything's aligned nice and pretty for it because otherwise you might not line it up right and it can damage your snap. And then a little bit of pressure. And then there you go. So that's how you attach that and then give me a second and I will reposition again for the contact bond. And so for mine, I usually try to currently, I have colored ones, so I'll try to normally match up the color with the badge reel just to where it's not as noticeable, but unfortunately I don't have any um, that match the white. So we're going to use what I got on hand for this. Um, so this is my contact Most cement. At the garage. You go ahead and give it a really good shake. And then mine's already shook. So I just used it a little while ago. Um, best place I can tell you is well ventilated area because this stuff really does have a smell. So you kind of just brush it off. And then you just brush it on to it. And then um, you have any uh, wait 15 minutes up to two hours. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. I do have one that is ready. Um, so we shall see about that. Give me just a sec. So I just make sure that I get it all on the fabric, the edges. Um, once it's dry after the 15 minutes, um, you can touch it with your hands, but, um, when you go to put it onto your bad drill, just make sure that you have it where you want it because it is going to bond immediately. So, and once you get it on, there's really no very good way of reposition. So I just have it all there. So, um, let me kind of clean up my bottle a little just cause I don't want any of this stuff sticking and sealing my lid. So I'll be right back. So I get a pair of pliers. So as you can see, I can touch no big issue. It's not sticky, but when it touches this part, which has the contact bond on it also, this is one that I did earlier. So it's probably been about an hour for this and probably about 20 minutes for this. So I actually like an overhead view to where I can kind of line it up better. So I will take my pliers, put our fingers here, and, oh, ha, I need mine that has little grooves in it. All right, so they have the little teeth in this one. The other one was just the flat one because I was using it to make jewelry earlier. So that's what you want, one with teeth to where it grips. And then I just kind of align it best I can, get the metal piece down, in the center and as you can see it sticks and then I just go around lightly touching to get all that down and then I'll just go around again and press firmly to where everything sticks and there you go even with me pulling see so that's what I do to make my little snap reels. And then these, like I said, I just fill the base with resin, um, usually clear. And then I will glue it on just using super glue, whatever's your preference. Um, I attempted to use the contact cement and it really did not stick at all. Like one little tug and it did come off. So I don't recommend using contact cement. Um, but yeah, so there you go. For those of you that are interested, that's what I do. Thanks y'all.